What's up guys, welcome to Vintage Genetics, where it is all about classic bodybuilding. And I'm on my way to the gym right now, I'm going to train chest, side delts and triceps. And unfortunately, I won't be able to record it because I'm going alone, which I did not expect. But anyway, we're still going to have an awesome workout, I'm going to tell you exactly what I did and why. And I'm going to show you what I'm uh, eating today and doing today, basically. And I'm going to show you the base of operations of the website, vintagegenetics.com, and uh, you know, show you a little how it's like uh, doing the orders and stuff of the website, and how it's stored in the middle of the living room. So yeah. And it's pretty cold right now outside. It's uh, my car is actually frozen solid. Had to clean the windows, and uh, yeah, but I kind of like it actually. I like the cold. It actually burns more fat. But yes, I'm going to enjoy this chest workout. Time to grow that Arnold Schwarzenegger chest. And I'm gonna work on the triceps, doing a lot of long head exercises such as the overhead rope extension, the overhead double extension, stuff like that to really boost the tricep size and get rid of that weak point. So yeah, I'm going to enter the highway now, which makes this video too loud for me to speak. See, it's already starting. Anyway, guys, see you soon. I guess I just got back from the gym. I did chest and triceps and side delts. I just got home and I'm going to have my post-workout meal. But before that, actually I actually had my post-workout shake already. So I can wait about 30 minutes. But I'm going to show you the base of operations of VintageGenetics.com. So let's check it out. Right here, this is the living room by the way. And everything is stored right here. As you can see, all the shirts the tank tops and the rest of the apparel is right here all different sizes different logos different colors it's all right here and we put pictures on there because that's much easier to determine what's in the box of course and then a new shipment has come with a lot of clothing here which we still have to sort out of course and there's much more upstairs of this and this is basically uh, the computer with which we do the order so here we receive your orders and you know everything is printed out we put it on a bag like that put everything in there put the address on there and we ship it to the postal office the very same day by the way with each order we're adding a card like this just a business card basically vintage genetics the website is on there and a picture on the side in the back and it won't sharpen I have no idea why this phone is so messed up and right here are some trophies actually from FlexCup 2014 the overall and FlexCup 2013 the overall which is pretty cool one of the nicest trophies I've seen on a competition in the Netherlands so I'm very happy with these for sure also here a medal uh, for my guest performance on the Enter Cup in 2015, which was pretty cool as well. Now here there are some other trophies. This is the Best Symmetry Award of the Flex Cup 2014. Also a very cool trophy, kind of like a Terminator side chest right here. Here we've got the Arnold Classic Trophy, the fifth place I got right there, which is pretty nice to have in your collection, obviously. Here, if you can read it, uh, guest performance on the Juliet Bergman Cup in 2015. This is the Juliet Bergman, and this is the Iron Man, actually. The Iron Man, I got second place, but the very same day. And here, first place on the same day as the Iron Man against the same people. I got first at the A-level competition as a junior. And again, this is my first place Flex Cup 2014 trophy, and this is 2013. And then right here I've got some, this picture is one of the pictures that I took for the cover of Muscle and Fitness. 
This is one for the preparation of the Arnold Classic. And by the way, my mom wants all these pictures printed, not me. So, just so you know, this is for the Best Posing Award. I don't know if you can read it, probably not. From the Grand Prix, the Judith Bergman Grand Prix, the Best Posing, which is absolutely amazing. This is a side chest from my first ever competition. And here are two trophies again. Uh, from the Juliet Bergman Grand Prix, my last competition. It's not going to sharpen, but I'm just going to tell you. Second place, super heavyweights. First place in the juniors. So I just wanted to show you these trophies because I've never done that before. And uh, yeah, kind of my history as a bodybuilder in the Netherlands. And in Spain from the Arnold Classic, which is pretty awesome. And many more, much more, is to come. So... We're gonna have to increase the size of that uh, plateau right there to put it all on. All right, guys, I'm about to make my post workout meal. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do that. It is very easy. So, I'm gonna use the ActiFry for this. I put, as you can see, around 200 grams of frozen vegetables in the ActiFry, just out of this bag of stir fry mix. See, in here are simply some frozen vegetables. All kinds, bell pepper, onion, tomato, uh, mushrooms, stuff like that. Just got to put it in here. And I'm going to cook some rice on the stove, stove for 10 minutes. And meanwhile, there is about 200 grams of fish steaming away. Put some dill on there. And so in about 20 minutes, my meal will be done. But the nice thing is that I can just go upstairs and then come back and, every, and add everything together. But for that I would have, have to have my rice ready already. I don't, otherwise I would have added the rice in here, about 300 grams post-workout. So let's cook that right now. So I have the rice cooking, 100 grams of white rice. And it's actually uh, this rice right here, Uncle Ben's. This is a very nice, as you can see, loose dry rice which I like they actually do it the same here there's also uh, stir fry vegetables rice and I just add fish to it and some herbs to make it absolutely delicious and right over here we've got our vegetables stirring away basically cooking in here and in 10 minutes I'm going to combine it with the rice in there and then uh, wait for the fish to be done and then my post workout meal is done, so I'm going to show you the end result right now. All right, guys, I'm upstairs now with the post workout meal. Let's show you real quick what it looks like. So this is the post workout meal: 300 grams, well, 100 grams of uh, dry rice, probably about 250 to 300 of cooked. But I put it in the fry for a little too long, so it's uh, lost its volume a little bit. 200 grams of vegetables. 10 grams of coconut oil and about 150 to 200 grams of white fish and I put some dill on there for flavor and some Cajun spices throughout the meal. And here are actually some supplements that I like to take uh, throughout the day. Uh, first of all, let's start here. A rich piano supplement and the reason why I got this is because body and fashion has this supplement and it actually is pretty good because it has a lot of different items for not just the liver but also the heart the prostate the kidneys and the skin so uh, you know Rich Piana himself might not be the most appealing person but his supplements are pretty great but I get this one for free so that's why I wanted to try it out then omega-3 for healthy cholesterol levels, always take about six capsules a day. This one, I've got a new one from Cytic Nutrition. This is actually a precursor to leucine. So this is part of the chain that leucine needs to really start and make the muscle synthesis happen. So I usually take uh, two of these after working out and these with a meal if I think there's not enough leucine in there.
Of course, there's liver support, which is just the milk thistle, which is in here as well. But this is pure milk, uh, pure milk thistle to support uh, the uh, liver. When you worked out, your body is, uh, has produced toxins, and if you help your liver, you will recover faster. This is joint X. This is basically to fix tendon pain, joint pain. And look at this combination here, as you can see. It's not just the MSM and the glucos glucosamine, but there's also chondrotein. <laughs> and the combination of these items actually make it work a lot better. A lot of people have said that, not just the MSM and the glucosamine, but also that uh, stuff in there. The combination makes this uh, supplement actually work. I take about three to six of these a day when I notice pain in my elbows or any tendons and it really does help in combination of course with other things. And then zinc which is a natural testosterone uh, booster if you have low testosterone taking this every day before bed will help you get your own testosterone levels up. So those simply are some of the supplements that I like to use throughout the day. Of course, after working out, I like to use whey protein, 30 to 35 grams, usually on leg days, 35 grams or even 40 grams. And I usually have, uh, as I showed you in another video, juice, the vegetables with it and fruits afterwards. And then my post-workout meal that I have right now. But yeah. Some of these supplements I don't use uh, throughout the year. I just test some of them out just to see what it does. You know, I get this for free from Site Nutrition. They are my sponsor. So it allows me to try out a lot of different supplements that you would normally never buy because you're like, okay, this is just one of the 20 supplements that I can choose from. Why should I choose it? Well, I can because I don't have to pay for it. So I'm going to try it out and I'm always honest about the effect. But the supplements that are right here are the ones that I recommend, especially the Omega-3, the liver support and the joint X and the leucine if you eat a lot of vegetarian meals. But anyway, I'm going to enjoy this meal. Enjoy this meal right now. All right, guys, I just wanted to show you my current shape, my lean bulking shape to uh, help you understand what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the ideal lean bulking shape, at least in my own opinion. So I still want to be able to see at least a little bit of the abs, a little bit of the striations of the chest, and be able to hit a nice side chest with striations and with a vacuum. That's what I want. So let's show you the current shape of my physique in a couple of poses. And I'm actually going to uh, do, you know, uh, posing videos as well. Classic poses like how to hit them. For example, I'm going to show you an example here. You have this classic pose of Arnold. You can do it like this, but this is not the right way. you got to put in your hips as well. And that makes it classic so guys this is my current shape not ripped that's impossible if you want to lean bulk you got to sacrifice some striations but I want to be able to see what's happening to my physique at all times so when I work my triceps this long head right here that's one of my weak points because when I do front double bicep I want this to go lower so that's what I want to work on, and if you don't see any definition at all, you don't know whether you fixed that weak point or not before cutting down for a competition or photo shoot or anything. So that's why I recommend staying in shape year round. Let me show you the back real quick. And that's how you do it. Front double bicep. Some uh, classic arrow shot. And yeah, so that's my shape. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you agree that lean bulking is the way to go in terms of bodybuilding. Do you think you can add more muscle when you're uh, adding a lot more fat to your physique or 
do you think this is the best way to build muscle because you can actually see your weak points so let me know all right guys it's the next day now i'm pretty busy with school but i still try to post as many times as i can uh, the school period will be over the exams and probably next week after next week i won't be that busy anymore for a while so Anyway, in my previous video, I showed you the uh, Bluetooth headphones, the wireless earpods, and it's these, and I got these sent by uh, someone representing this company, and they just wanted me to try it out, and I'm always honest about what I receive and what I use. So I received this one, and it's pretty ironic, because I wanted to have Bluetooth wireless headphones for a while so I actually got these like a couple of days before also wireless and uh, they're from Philips as you can see but the problem with this is it's just a regular ear pod and my ears are weird because when I do this it easily falls out as you can see it falls out the difference between this is that this has this thing to go around the ears which may look weird like this but when you actually put it in you don't really see it anymore so this one was pretty nice to try out so the pros of this is that it stays put in your ear it won't fall out this one will fall out and it's kind of uncomfortable inside of the ear because you really need to jam it in for it to keep put for example when you lean back to do double presses you really need something like this to keep it in place but the problem is that this keeps it in place but this part right here may move a little bit inside the ear and when it moves outwards a little when you lay back you lose the base because you get the base when you put it very close to your hearing canal um, but the thing is these are more expensive than these and these are as I can see right now on the link which is by the way down in the description they are $20 right now so that's not expensive for wireless uh, ear pods headphones whatever you want to call them so they are the brand Archer I don't know if you pronounce it as Archer of Archer but uh, overall for the price they are nice but if you really want something that will be perfect always fits around your ear have nice good quality no matter in what position you are then you might want to have to spend more money but if you're just looking to listen music while working out without a wire attached to your phone or iPod this is a very nice product and also has a very uh, nice range as well a couple of meters at least uh, because sometimes you can just put your iPod over there and then walk away and the sound will stay intact and it connects pretty easily as well the difference also is that this one takes quite a lot of tries to connect via Bluetooth and this one connects pretty fast and this one lasts pretty long as well so that's my honest review uh, when people send me things like this I like to be honest about it because otherwise what is the review really worth anyway guys I hope you enjoyed this video leave a comment down below and don't forget to stay golden and this is the third meal of the day that I'm making this is again bell pepper with some onion but then I added a vegetarian option this time and this is made actually of mushrooms and fungus it may not sound tasty